Hey guys, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use the crop tool like a champ. I'm going to show you how to do exact cropping to exact pixels, as well as uh, aspect ratios and things like that. So if you're a social media guy or gal, and you want to have like a video, uh, picture that's optimized for Facebook, and then one for Instagram, and then one for Twitter, and then maybe one for YouTube, you always have different ratios, different sizes. And I'll show you how to do that just using the crop tool. So let's just dig right into this, guys. The first step is you want to load up an image. I've got a, just a default image that I downloaded off the internet. And uh, it's a huge image. That's why I chose it. So it's really, really big. And I'm just going to unlock it here. Hang on. So I just double clicked on that little lock button. Off we go. The next step, guys, is you want to go over to the crop tool on the left side and left click on it. When you left click on it one time, it will be crop tool. If you want to use some of the other tools, like the perspective crop tool and stuff like that, you can go ahead and do that. But that's going to be in a different uh, in a different video. So let's just make sure we're selected onto the crop tool. The next step here is if you look at the top left, you're going to notice that there's a drop down menu and this is really, really cool. So this is what you would see if this is your first time using the tool or if it's just set to its default and you would see original ratio. And then from here, if I wanted to, I can drag and drop from the left side here from the top left or I can, you know, make it smaller, make it bigger. I could pull it in like that and just basic stuff like that. You guys probably know how to do that. No big deal. But what you also can do here is you can go ahead and set specific resolution. So width times height resolution, for example. So if let's say we're doing a YouTube video and we want a 1920 by 1080 because we're doing a YouTube thumbnail, I just type in 1920, I type in 1080, I hit enter. And oh, wait, it did pixel. It did centimeters. That is not what I want. Cancel that, people. Let's go quickly again. 1920 pixel 1080. Pixel. There we go. So we've got 1920 by 1080. If I hit enter and we accept that crop, it will crop out this image and it will also crop the top piece and the bottom piece. So this little bit of information outside of the boundaries here will disappear. I will note that you can move this. So if this isn't where you want the crop to go, let's say I want the, the image to be cropped down here because I don't want this guy's head in it. Or alternatively, I do want his head in it and I don't want this little bit at the bottom just like that. I can crop this piece. The most important piece of this is that it is definitely 1920 by 1080 and it is ready to go for YouTube. And if you guys want to have specific other sizes, maybe you've got 820 by uh, 312 uh, and this is the Facebook size. So this is the exact size for the Facebook cover image at the top. I would hit enter on this. I would position it if I want to say, let's get that guy's top of his head in there. I hit enter. And presto, we've got a crop. So let's just go ahead and do that. I hit, oh, geez, sorry. I just hit the button and I zoomed out. My mistake. So there you go. You've got a crop. So I'm going to command Z, control Z, back out. And that's how you crop to specific, um, to specific pixels or ratios. Now, actually, the second step here is I am going to show you how to do ratios. So let's say that you're doing a, I don't know, a very common is five by seven, five inches by seven inches, right? This here, if you select that, no matter what, you will get the correct 5x7. You can move the image in the background. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. But no matter what, again, the, the aspect ratio and the size will be correct. If you hit enter, it is done. You've got a 5x7. I'm going to command or control Z out. One last thing I'll show you while I got you here. And I'm going to go back to original ratio. So it's right at the edge. Is if you go ahead, if you want to crop... Let's say let's say we're going to create a 2 by 3 something like that. And you want to crop this, but you don't want to lose the information on the left side and the right side. Take a look at this. This is called the delete crop pixels uh, button. If you uncheck this, when I when I crop this image, we are going to keep this stuff on the outsides. It's just not going to be in the image. Let me show you what I mean. So I hit enter, but now if I move the image You'll see here that as I move the image, that information that was outside of the crop boundaries is intact. So if you ever need to get into that information for whatever reason, you can go ahead and do that. It's not too well, it's not very commonly used, but it is something that's kind of cool. So that's just one last thing I'll show you. And while I got you here, why not, right? You're like, hey, one more, Curtis, one more. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go window history. 
And let's just go back to uh, where we were. The last thing I will show you is on the crop tool, you can go ahead, let me just go to uh, original ratio first. You can actually go ahead and straighten it. So in this image, let's say that we want the straight line to be, say, sort of like on an angle down because it's got this angle in it. So what I would do is I would hit the crop tool, then I would hit this button here, straighten the image by drawing a line on it. I'm going to left click on that, and then I'm going to draw a line. I'm just going to draw a line, let's say, like that, that just kind of goes through there. When I let go, it re-straightens the image according to that information. Now, this isn't what I would probably want in a final shot, but it is something that you should be aware of in case you've got images that are like a little bit, you know, just aren't quite flush or they don't quite have the um, the edges that you'd like in them, the straightness that you'd like. So that's just all there is to it, guys. That's how to use the crop tool like a champ. Thanks for watching this video. i got a lot more stuff coming up. Be back soon.